Hi, I'm Steve from Yamaha, and I'm here with Urban Dub, drum and bass producer, and we're going to go over the Yamaha Mox editor and show you some of the really powerful sounds that this beast is capable of. Starting here, this is the editor screen that you can run as a standalone or, or, or within your um, VST application. Where it gets really interesting is up on this arrow here, click open, and you've got access to all of the internals of, of, the, um, of the synth engine. And what's really great is it's actually eight oscillators running at once. We call them elements. But um, for those of you that are used to using other soft synths, this will really, really make sense. You can basically turn them on and off. See, very, very simple. And when you've got them turned on, you can then assign different waveforms to them, from samples to sine waves, sawtooth waves. You can mess around with the tuning, with the pitch envelope, with the LFOs, with the scale, with all of the different sort of synth editing power that you, you, can, um, you can muster. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a basic sound that we've created. I'm going to turn off two of the oscillators. And you can see this is made out of a preset wave number 1033, of which there's absolutely tons of them to choose from. And it's an FS buzz, which is a like a saw buzz that's built into the synth. Um, we've got it tuned, bang on, spot on in the middle. Nothing really exciting going on here. So what we want to do is we add another oscillator. Click on it. This is a, a, a digi sort of sound, digital sound, but we've added it and made it a seventh. So, if you want to hear that on its own, we just turn element one off, both together. And the great thing of this is if you actually want to edit it, all you do is click on it and you can just draw around. So, if you don't want that seventh, you can just bring it back down to zero. Or you can double click and just type in what you want. So plus seven, that'll do me. We want a bit more of a cutting edge, a bit of a deeper sound. So we're going to turn on element three, go to that, and we've got a basic sine wave, semi tuned down by an octave. So if you want to hear that on its own, just take them off. But when you combine it with the other two, And you can see you've got some really, really powerful features. So you can go in through to your filters, you can go into your amp uh, and envelope generators, you can really delve right into the depths of it. And you've also, up here, you've got your master mode up here. So you've got your ability to be able to name your sounds. So we've got urban HD dubstep sort of wobbling sound. Choose whether you want it in mono or poly polyphonic sound. You've got portamento and glide, so you can just set that and set the, set the slope rate. You can set your pitch bend right here. We set it to pitch bend down a semi to down an octave. So just up to. So it's really, really easy to get going with. Um, arpeggiators, so the Mox has got well over 6,000 different arpeggiator styles, and you can set it to like bass arpeggiators or synth arpeggiators, and you can get loads of different sort of interesting um, sequences going. You've got control set, which is brilliant. You can set the mod wheel, for example, to control up to sort of six different things at once. So you could, for example, have mod wheel controlling your LFO speed, your distortion, your reverb. You could have your um, assignable function keys on the keyboard controlling other different things. So you can really just go to town and make, make the sort of sound that you want to make. You've got your master LFO, which as you can see here, we've got a user LFO going on with an eight step, which is where you can hear the cycling wobble. <laughs> And then you also have your master effects section where you've got all your insert effects over here. So you can see we've got a, currently you've got a, a distortion, compression distortion, which is on a basic preset on my insert effect A, and we're not using any, any, anything on the insert effect B. Um, Yamaha uses the VCM, which is vir virtual circuitry modeling. So very, very powerful effect section comprised of all distortions, phases, all, and lots of classic modeling. So uh, very, very powerful in terms of making your own sounds and making them yours. And then once you're done, just literally go to general, name it, save it, and it's yours to play around with. 